Hello, Sesonitia, and welcome to my Gundam review. Today's Gundam review is Gundam Exia Trans M Master Grade. There's not really much to talk about on this one. If you've watched my previous Gundam Exia um, Master Grade review, it is pretty much the same Gundam, just obviously different colours. And anyone that knows this franchise knows why the different why you got two different colours. This is the Trans M mode, which is in the in the story. They have this ability to go into this red and purple pink mode, which gives the Gundam um, amazing powers, and it's called Trans M. And basically, this is what it looks like. So this is the instruction manual, as you can tell, stunning man um, instruction manual. What well, well stunning. Um, artworks should I say and like I said this is what made me buy this instantly you, you see the box in this in, in a store window and it just screams wow kind of thing like I said even my um, my partner at the time looked at it and went wow you know so this the instruction manual as standard gives you information of the Gundam how to build what you get like I said a bit more intel of the trans M mode kind of thing all the frames you're going to get and then as per usual in the center a bit more covered basically a bit more backstory action poses the usual the before and after kind of thing and then obviously at the back shows you everything you're going to have like i said a bit more detail like i said those are changed because they're, they're not clear and everything basically what it looks like at the back and obviously what you get and what you don't get so to the main Gundam again this is going to be a very quick review because if you watched my master grade last, time, last week then you know pretty much everything about this Gundam the only thing that's different is the colour so I'm not going to go into full details I'm just going to say everything from the last review um like i said this is really really a short review so that's what it looks like at the front the side the back side again like i said all the features though in the master grade exia or the sacred the same on this the only thing that's different is it's a completely different color swap and um, one thing i can show you on this one that i couldn't show you on the on the last is if i remember right these batteries do work he says as he tries to get it on it's like yeah it's like these batteries do work but they're not the best see so that's on ish hopefully i'll do it it's like there you go that's what it looks like when you got the batteries on and as it, like I said, if you get the sticker right, it says it should say the Gundam Double O, um, the the model number of the Exia, Gundam Exia Trans M mode, and like I said, it it is clear, but obviously, depend. Like I said, when you've got it in in your face, it's very clear. And like I said, you do get two batteries, and like I said, you get like I said. You get two, one for that side and one for that side kind of thing and that's supposed to light up but that battery's dead compared to this one and so on and so on but I couldn't show you that on the X here because the battery had died on the master grade and like so these ones are not great but as you can see Bandai really really needs to up their batteries for these models because those de designs don't work well but that's it really, unfortunately, like I said, you get the same features, you open, chest, you know. Everything I mentioned in the previous Master Grade is the spitting image of this one. Like I said, there isn't a damaged version of this one, unfortunately. Um, like I said, the only other difference is like, it's basically just a colour swap and that's it. That's the only difference. Um, this version does struggle standing on its own every now and again so I can, this is the pose I have to get it to stand kind of thing in, in my display case but that's it there's not really much more to talk about on this one so 
I'll give this the same grade as I gave the last one, which I can't remember what it is, but if you watched the previous one, you'd understand. So that's it for this review. It's I know it's a short review and you're probably thinking what was the point, but I did say I'd do this one. And that's it. And like I said, there's not really much. I should have put this together with the X year, but to be honest, I should have done them same time, but I didn't. But anyway, moving on. Like I said, we're going to pause for a second. Now, mo moving on, we are going to go to the next Gundam uh, next week, which is the Gundam Dy Dynamis, which I have a lot more to talk about because there's a lot more with this Gundam than with this one. Like I said, the, Dy the Dynamis is the new version of the Double R Gundams, which uh, Bandai's were just released the past few years. And then um, Dynamis was the first one, and then Kyrios, and then we finally gained Virtue this year, kind of thing. And then hopefully they might decide to do a remaster of um, the X year, which I really hope they do. But anyway, that's enough of this Gundam. I'll be moving on to the Dy Dynamis next week, so I'll catch you then. Till next time, um, thank you for watching, and um, I hope you enjoy. Bye now.